Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general reading for the months of March and April 2022. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. What is the guidance, please, for Gemini for the next two months? All right, so we have honesty is essential in practice compassion. All right, getting honest, getting clear. To be a loving person is it important. It is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. All right, so whatever it is that maybe you feel like you need to be honest about, feelings, emotions, whatever it is, practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. All right, so I'm going to pull one card for March and one for April. What is the guidance, please, for March? Okay, Eight of Wands, and let's take a look at April. Wow, Queen of Wands, a lot of fire energy here, Gemini. All right, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Eight of Wands can be like a rush of energy coming in. can feel like a lot is happening at once, or there's a change in pace, a change in direction. Wow, even more, Ace of Wands. <laughs> and look at one of your cards is here. We have the Queen of Swords. Really getting clear, I feel like, here. Wow, all right, yeah, definitely some action happening here. Page of Swords, lots of ideas, but it's about putting them into action, and it is the need to really communicate clearly. All right, and then this Magician energy, making it happen. The Magician's ruled by Mercury, ruler of Gemini and Virgo. Confidence is key. Putting all of your tools into action. Right, the universe is going to give you the hammer, the nails, the screws, the drills, but you got to use them. So, let's see, we've got Ace of Cups. I mean, this is great. This is like leading you to pure happiness, cup overflowing. For some of you, this could be a new situation. We've got two aces here. That's really nice to have two aces in such a small reading. So it is definitely a burst of new energy, happiness, feelings of excitement, new projects, new love situation maybe. All right, so I'm going to clarify. I'm going to take a look at that Ace of Cups. Queen of Swords definitely is about getting clear on matters. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups for Gemini, please. Maybe for some of you, you're working on something involving business, you know, maybe needs to take a risk. Yeah, the star, 10 of pentacles, we have the nine of swords. So there could be some fear here surrounding this new beginning or this risk. But the star, stay hopeful, stay optimistic. Things are getting better and lighter. 10 of pentacles, this definitely could be business, work, you know, family matters. But with the Ten of Pentacles, there's a lot of really great potential and growth. Um, lots of success. So I really love this. All right, Gemini. So I'm going to actually go to the Oracle cards because I feel like this reading is really, really clear cut. Um, all right. So I'm going to pull from the Oracle of the Fairies. Two cards here. Yeah. Yeah. Ask for help. So for some of you, it may require somebody else around you. Um, Queen of Wands, someone who is really motivated, someone who puts themselves out there, someone who has a lot of great ideas, creative potential. Ask for help. So it says angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. The fairies say it is a time for you to ask for angelic assistance. So help can come in the form of another person. Light, the fairy queen comes to shed love in light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Reminds me of that queen of swords energy. Same color cards too. All right, so I'm going to pull from the Moonology deck. Looks like that north node card wanted to come out. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. All right, I'm going to pull one more. So yeah, the energy is definitely gaining momentum, Gemini, with that eight of wands. Don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. Yeah, especially when it comes to like asking for help. 
All right, don't let pride get in your way. Some people have different ideas, right? Page of Swords, creative ideas. You know, talking to other people can get our minds flowing on things. All right, now I'm going to pull three cards from this deck to close up this reading. This, this was very, like, to the point, which is great. All right, what do we have for Gemini? Three cards, please. All right, we've got two here. I'll pull one more. There we go. All right, so we've got high vibes. Surround yourself with positivity. Connect with yourself or source. Certain frequencies, your tribe. Yeah, so, you know, that's what I feel like. Connecting with other people, right? Like-minded people. Nature's timing. Things need to occur in proper order when the time is right. Try not to control any situations. And then we have state as I am. Manifesting happens in the present tense, in the present life, believable to you. So affirmations. So yeah, it makes a lot of sense because there could be a little bit of conflict. You know, try to have positive thoughts, especially with the Page of Swords. Um, affirmations definitely do help and using the moon rituals. So, you know, new moons, full moons, even the quarter moons. So I hope you guys have an amazing month ahead. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.